Smart question here. So how can you differentiate between idiopathic intracranial hypertension, so too much pressure in your head, and other causes of chronic headache like migraine, cervical spine dysfunction during a bedside exam? So obviously, if you are if you have the capacity to do things beyond a bedside exam, that can be really helpful. But one of the fastest solutions to be able to, to really quickly look at pressurization within the skull is actually to look at the integrity of the optic nerve because that optic nerve is actually floating. It's like going from the brain, reaching out to the eye through fluid. So anything that causes more pressure in the brain, that fluid, you can't compress it right? So you can't, if you have like a full bottle of water with no air in it, it's not compressible. You can't squish it down. So anything that causes more pressure in the brain means that that fluid is going to compress down on that optic nerve. And when you compress down on it in the back of the eye, it actually looks like it starts to bulge out. So when you, you do an ophthalmologic exam, look at the fundus of the back of the eye. So you take the light and you look in the back of the eye what will happen is rather than look like a like a sharp circle, that optic nerve, the edges will actually start to look blurry. So it's the difference between like if you Google map uh, in someone's backyard and they have a swimming pool, then it's a well-defined edge like this. But then if you have a, like a hill, it's harder to see the edges because it's it's like this. So you can't see the contour as easily. And that's what it looks like. So it's a thing called papilledema. And when we see papilledema of the optic nerve, then we start to get concerned that there's too much pressure in the head. And that's something that can be done at the bedside. And then obviously we can do follow-up testing from there. So that can be like the first little indicator that we can look at from there. We can do things like an ocular CT and look at the nerve fiber layers. We can do a um, little more invasive looking at a lumbar puncture, which is basically like poking a hole in the system and seeing how fast it squirts back out at you uh, and using that as a method for understanding the pressure as well. But as a baseline at the bedside, simply looking at the fundus at the back of the eye, looking at the integrity of that optic nerve can be the first clue as if you, whether or not you're starting to get too much pressure in there.